the Fourier series for impulse train. Let's say this is x of t. This is an impulse train. All these are impulse signals. They have unit area. So this is t and zero t. So on. Let's say this one. This point is minus t by two. This point is plus t. So between minus t by two to plus t by two, we have the signal impulse is del of t. So I want to find out C n is one over t minus t by two to plus t by two x of t e power minus j n omega naught t where omega naught is two pi four. So now t minus t by two to plus t by two x of t is del of t between minus t by two to plus t by two e power minus j n omega naught t dt one over t this one let us say this is f of t so f of t into del of t and the integration limits loot zero so we will get f of zero this formula I have discussed in the previous lectures and go through them. It is 1 over t, f of 0 is 1. This is Cn. Next, C0. What is C0? 1 over t minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 x of t dt. So, 1 over t minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 del of t dt over t area that the code del of t is 1 plus it includes 0 so now we got c naught equal to 1 by t that is equal to a naught that is equal to r naught and c n equal to 1 over t we got equal to a n minus j b n by 2. From this, compare real and imaginary parts. You will get a n by 2 equal to 1 by t, b n by 2 equal to 0. That is, a n equal to 2 by t and b n equal to 0. a naught, we already got 1 by t. This is real Fourier series questions. Now, R in R not equal to one over t. That is R in square root of n square plus n square. R in equal to two by t. I n equal to tan inverse b n by a n. B n is zero. Zero degree. Is it all? X of t equal to sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity e power e power j omega naught is a over t what is cn moon equal to minus plus infinity 1 over t over j n 2 pi over t to t right this is complex Fourier series representation for String x of t is a naught a naught is over t plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n s2 over t cos n omega naught is 2 pi by t to t plus b n the, the term b n is 0. This is geometric for series. And x of t is r naught is on over t plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity r in is 2 by t cos n omega naught t minus pi n pi n is 0. This polar form will draw magnitude spectrum. So, first I will draw magnitude spectrum. 
we have the values cn is 1 over t c0 also 1 over t so magnitude of cn is 1 over t here rn is 2 over t but r0 is n equal to 0 1 by t equal to 1 All values of n at R n n equal to zero one by t equal to one ten equal to one of by t ten equal to So what can be observed from this magnitude spectrums? This is complex Fourier series magnitude spectrum. Here the real Fourier series. Here we have negative frequencies and positive frequencies. Here only we have positive frequencies, right? So what is the meaning of negative frequency here? These negative frequencies came because we have introduced the complex exponentials while deriving complex Fourier series right size of cos n omega naught and sin n omega naught we have introduced complex exponentials e power j n omega naught t plus e power minus j n omega naught right so we have introduced complex exponentials because of those complex exponentials we got negative frequency but the physical realizable signals are real signals only there are no complex signals at all so there, there are no complex signals means there is no negative frequency at all. So only positive frequency exists. No meaning for negative frequency at all. Okay. So at the end we need this Rn. The end we need Rn. That is at the end we need only positive frequency. So from here to here what can we observe Cn to Rn? Here, component at minus 1 I will add it to the component at plus 1. The component at minus 2 I will add it to plus 2. The component at minus 3 I will add it to plus 3. And so on. Then we will get orange. So if we add this, add like this, we will get orange. The component at 0 remains same. Rn is 1 by t, 2 by t, 2 by t, 2 by t, and so on. From here to magnitude Cn. Here I have Rn from Rn to magnitude Cn. What to draw? So at 0, we have same whatever or not there this is magnitude scene and both are same this one over what i do here n equal to one we have by t component what i do here is i will divide this component by two I add one half at the negative part one half at the positive part so what you will get one of one by t at minus 1, I have similarly. At a 2, also I have 2 by t. So I will divide this by 2, add half pot at the positive pot or positive component and half pot at the negative component. Here also 1 by t. Also 1. Here also 1 by t. Here also. So what we are doing here actually, so what we are getting by doing this is R into C. We are actually dividing the positive frequency components to adding these components half of the component to side and half of the components to side. This is what 
and it will see right but ultimately the end we need or it right not c so that is this is what we need the end this way so this is n n means n omega not actually n means n omega that is frequency components so while calculating bandwidth calculating bandwidth you need to consider only positive frequency components positive frequency right physical realizable signals or real signals so we need real Fourier series so bandwidth present in the form of positive frequency not negative frequency so while calculating bandwidth you need to consider only positive frequency so if you have RN that is fine so the available components are present only in the positive frequency suppose we have cn magnitude cn this we have they gave you good cn you want to calculate bandwidth what you have to take you have to take only positive frequencies not negative frequencies not take negative frequencies you have to take only positive frequencies while calculating bandwidth why why because this negative frequencies came because of we have introduced complex exponentials the calculating bandwidth you have to take only positive so ultimately we need this one rn right you have to calculate bandwidth from rn right but if they gave you cn first you have to calculate rn from cn that you know to calculate then from that we have to calculate bandwidth or you can calculate directly from magnitude cn we have magnitude cn is there so if you want to calculate bandwidth just take only positive frequency that is not bandwidth so these things i'll discuss more in communication system so by doing this what we are getting actually by doing this or into magnitude cn Doing this, what we are getting? Getting C. What happened here? Magnitude of C. Magnitude of C. Even of C equal to magnitude of C. Give you randomly C n. So if I ask you calculate the bandwidth, what you have to take? A. A. Positive. But I ask you calculate the power power content present. You have to take power content present in the system. How to calculate? How do you calculate power content? You have to take amplitudes. These amplitudes. So for amplitude calculations, you have to take all these things because RN contains. Or in contains these components also, the negative components also. The components, the components. At zero, we have to, and these negative components are being added to the positive component. Here, we add magnitude C into or in. Get to whether you calculate power from this Rn or you calculate by taking all the components, both positive components and negative components from C. Right? So while calculating bandwidth, you have to take only positive frequencies, but while calculating power or amplitude calculations, you have to take both the components presented negative frequencies and the presented positive frequencies this is the conclusion the conclusion is calculating a bandwidth you have to take only positive frequencies calculating power or or whatever the calculation related to amplitudes you have to take both component set negative frequencies 
component set positive frequencies. This is the conclusion.